Hello everybody! Thank you for tuning in here. It's Tuesday, but we are going to be uploading this tomorrow on Wednesday. But praise the Lord for this beautiful day. He woke us up and he is good. Um, so this week's episode I'm super excited about. Um, this is what I feel like the Lord put on my heart to share about. And it is a natural cough and chest congestion remedy. The Lord put natural remedies on my heart um, years ago, and he has been showing me more and more throughout the years, still has me learning, you know, <laughs> every single day or at least every single week and learning new things. And it's so amazing. And I love that there are, that there really is something natural that works for everything. You know, giving it to the Lord is always the first thing I do. Um, because he's, he is the ultimate physician. He is the healer and he will have his way. I know he gives us beautiful natural remedies also. So today we are going to be making a chest wrap and you literally only need four ingredients plus gauze and medical tape. And those four ingredients are, I've got my little helper over here, Camille. She is going to be on the side of the video today, helping me as my assistant, handing me ingredients, making sure that I am getting, that I have everything together. So ingredient number one is organic all-purpose flour. We got this from Costco. Actually, the first three ingredients are all from Costco. So organic all-purpose flour, you need about one giant scoop with a tablespoon. Um, and then second ingredient is organic raw honey. Now we have this raw honey from Costco also. Um, a little tip if you wanna buy local honey and you wanna find something organic, many of the times they are not listed as organic. Something that the Lord allowed me to learn in the past couple years is that um, it actually costs fifty to sixty thousand dollars to get something certified organic. So you can call your local bee farmers and ask them if they use organic practices. So flour, and you're gonna need about a tablespoon of that honey. About one large tablespoon of that flour, one tablespoon of the honey, a really good organic olive oil, also from Costco. And raw organic ginger root. Here is a little clip of me breaking a nice chunk off of this and grating it. Now that you've seen that, let's get started. Let me get some gloves on here just for a minute. <laughs> okay, that made a funny sound. Okay, so step numero uno. Grab your flour. Thank you, because that was in the way of the camera. <laughs> Grab your flour. Take just a typical tablespoon from your drawer and get a large spoonful. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just have it in a little bowl with some raised sides. Can you hand me the honey, please? Yes, I can. Then you're gonna do, so like I said, an extra large, large spoonful of flour, of all-purpose flour. Then you're gonna do about a tablespoon of the honey right on top of that little mountain of flour. I am just, I am just eyeballing it. It does not have to be perfect. Then, you are gonna go ahead and add your grated organic ginger root. If you can't get organic, at least get non-GMO, but if you can get organic, that's I, I believe that's truly the best way to go. Um, you just wanna avoid all those chemicals if you can. And then we're gonna mix this together. So the way you can know that it's right is if it can form a patty. So you're just gonna get in there and you can do this with bare hands, you can do this with gloves, make sure you get powder free if you're using gloves and you're just gonna mix it up for a moment and you're just gonna get that all incorporated together and then 
after that is all incorporated together, we are going to go ahead and use that olive oil. It's already starting to come together and you likely won't even need all of the flour, but you want it there so you can do your best to, um, so that you can do your best to incorporate as much of it as possible. Okay, see you guys. It's already making this little ball shape. Um, dough consistency. Dough consistency, yes, that's, yes, that's correct. So now that it's for the most part incorporated and to the consistency where it would form a patty and stay together, not fall apart. I'll just make a little well in the middle and I'm gonna have Camille just pour a little bit in there. Um, the recipe that I saw said like a half of a teaspoon, but I don't even use that. I just need, I just use enough to like kind of coat the outside and then you just reincorporate it. But it has always been amazing. And you guys, that is literally, that is literally it. Um, you can like roll it into a ball if you wanna make it look nicer, <laughs> but that is it. It's just this little patty. And then you literally just tape it to the chest with medical tape and gauze for an adult and you'd sleep in it because that's the easiest way. Um, if you'd like to do it during the day, that's totally up to you. But for an adult, you can tape this to the chest for the whole night and for any other member of the family, um, you get to make that judgment call. But it is there's no chemicals um, and I notice a difference in the way cough sounds and um, just overall um, how somebody feels um, overnight typically. So I'm super excited about this. I hope this can help you. And if you like this and you want to see more of videos like this, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and may you be blessed and kept by the Lord. Have a good day, guys.